All right, what is going on guys? It's Munch here and today I'm bringing guys a brand new Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. Now I'm going to be discussing all of the different pieces of gear that you guys can use on your classes as well as that I'm also going to be breaking down each one and then I'm going to be ranking each one telling you guys which ones are the best going in after patch 1.04. So after Stimshot got nerfed there's also been a lot of changes to other pieces of gear. As I said I'm going to break them down for you guys. Let you guys know what I think is the best one to be running. Um, the gameplay in the background is just nothing but me showing off the Mastercraft camouflage for the Maddox variant. Um, a lot of people had this taken away from them. I sadly had it taken away from me. So this is the only piece of treasure that I have of it. But if you guys do find this video useful in any way, hit the like button for me. If you guys are new, hit the sub button and turn on those notifications. I do appreciate all of the support you guys are showing on the channel. You guys are absolutely smashing it. But... Let's start off talking with the stim shot. Now the stim shot, um, the basic description for it is heal faster and more often while mainly to control of your weapon. In this specific gameplay, I'm using stim shot. This is actually before it got nerfed. Sadly, it did get nerfed in patch 1.04. Um, all they done is make it longer to get back to full health. Um, obviously, this does counter a lot of people's playstyles. Um, especially mine, I do like to be able to run around the map a lot faster. I like to be able to get in and out of gunfights a lot quicker. Um, obviously, with it taking a lot longer for you to reach maximum health, there is a bit of waiting time between each gunfight now, which does suck for me personally. I think um, it was a not really a good nerf for people that like playing public matches. But apparently, a lot of the competitive players um, complained about it, so obviously they went ahead and increased the time it takes to get back to full health. Um, I think now a lot of pub stompers and a lot of players that um did go for streaks and went for nuclears this probably isn't your best route to go unless you're going for some like insane fast gameplay there's no real need or no real like there's not really a point of using it if that makes sense it the only thing it does is it heals a bit faster and you can heal a bit more frequently compared to not having um stim shot on which does suck a lot but i mean it happens um it got nerfed it's not really that good um i Right now, I'm still currently running with it, but I am probably looking to change very soon, depending on what I'm doing. But um, Stimshot, obviously, that's just my opinion on it. Um, next one I'm going to be talking about is Equipment Charge, which this one's actually pretty interesting. I think if you're running something like Recon, Crash, or Seraph, I think Equipment Charge could be really good. You could probably stack up a lot of score running Crash um, with it. Obviously, um, Equipment and Specialist weapons recharge faster. Obviously, if you're getting off that specialist a lot faster with crash, your teammates are getting more health, so you're helping out your teammates. Not only that, but you're also getting a lot more score for it. You obviously, you get your ammo box a lot faster, so every time somebody takes some ammo, you get score for that as well. Um, so, as I said, not really a bad choice to go if you're somewhat of a support um, specialist like Recon, Crash, or Seraph. Um, I may start using this. It's, it's a bit interesting. Obviously, you can get your score streaks a lot faster. But we just have to wait and see. The next one I'm going to be talking about is the Comsec device. And this is sort of like your hard line. You get your score streaks a lot faster. I've used this before in the past. If you guys are going for these uber insane um, high kill gameplays. And you guys are running stuff like Drone Squad. Drone Squad's uh, attack helicopter and strike team. Not necessarily going for nuclears. But going for high kill gameplays. And you guys want like a lot of the higher tier streaks easier. Use the, use the um, Comsec device. Obviously, it's just very banging. I have used it before. I've dropped a nuke with it. It is pretty good, especially if you guys do want to get your streaks a lot faster, as I just said. Um, try and give that a go. The next one we talk about is body armor. This did receive a minor nerf. All they did is that any attachments that increase damage, basically, it wouldn't count towards that. Now, what they've done is that if you had guys have something like high caliber 2 on, and you shoot them in the chest, it actually registers at increased damage, which is really good. Um, so obviously you get increased protection from initial bullet damage and reduced movement speed while it's equipped. So I have used the Titan basic standard class that you get whilst um, before you get a creator class. And the, the penalty, the movement speed penalty for armor is absolutely ridiculous. You do run pretty slow, but I mean, if you put on lightweight, you can sort of somewhat counter it. I think body armor is really effective on this game. Not only that, but it's really annoying. It sort of forces the players to have to run FMJ. If you guys are a really good player and you guys are running body armor, you can obviously win a lot more gunfights. You can sort of cheese your way in and out of gunfights. That's just my personal opinion on the body armor. Obviously, it did get nerfed, but I think it's still definitely good. I've come across people that have cheesed their way out of gunfights against me whilst I'm on my streak. Um, so body armor is definitely a force to be reckoned with. The last one I'm going to be talking about is the acoustic sensor. Um, obviously, I have. if you guys follow me on Twitter, I have a big hate towards the acoustic sensor. I think it shouldn't be in the game. What it does, what it says it does anyway, is enemy movements are easier to hear. So sort of like awareness. 
But if you guys did play Black Ops 3, it sort of it gives you a sixth sense as well. So it tells you where they're coming from. If they're coming from ahead, to your right, to your left, or they're behind. Um, it's really effective for the average player. It makes him a lot easier to just get kills. But um, that did receive a bit of a nerf. Obviously, you get reduced the range at which sprinting enemies are detected. Um, so I, I've never personally used acoustic sense. I think I've actually used it once. And I dropped to nuke with it. I think it just makes everything a bit too easy. But at the same time, for the average player, if you guys are constantly looking at your mini map and there's a bunch of people around you, your map will be going off like crazy. Um, people may get confused on which target to focus. They could end up dying. So, um, I don't know. It's, it's effective in a way. But at the same time, it can also confuse you. If I had to rank all of them, I'll probably go ahead and say that the Comsec device and the equipment charge is looking very good right now. They're in both a good position. Not really being touched too much. Um, I would say that stim shot is still good because you can heal faster than the average player but at the same time It's not that much of a difference. Obviously you can heal a lot quicker, which is really good But as I said, obviously they nerfed it quite badly. So it's sort of it's not useless in a way But it's not as good as it once was um, The acoustic sensor is definitely up there with being broken I think it needs a bigger nerf and then dead silence needs to fully counter it I'm not 100% sure if it does fully counter it, but I don't think it does I think it counters it up to a certain range but um, acoustic sensor, I think, is very good as well. Body armor is really good. I would say, if I had to rank them from best to worst, I would say Comsec device number one for best. Equipment charge to stim shot. No, no, no. Sorry, Comsec first. Acoustic sensor to. Um, I would put stim shot and armor sort of like in the same category, and I put equipment charge last. Equipment charge is very situational. Um, as I said, if you're using support, you can obviously get a lot more score of it. But I don't think it's really effective, especially for pubs. If you are a comp player, then um, using something like Equipment Charge, I sort of understand where it comes from. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As I said, I'm just going to cover all of them which I've done. Let me know what you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys currently use as your gear and your opinions on all of the changes in Patch 1.04 for all of the gear. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.